We're not quite through with our trip down manual elections memory lane. In the second part of our special report, what would happen during a municipal, city, or provincial canvassing of the votes? After everything we've been through, do we really want to return to manual elections? In 1995, NAMFREL also flagged certificates of canvas, or COCs, from Alaminos and Tagupan City in Pangasinan. This time, it was a little more brazen and didn't seem quite as innocent. The Alaminos Municipal COC had 2,599 votes for a certain candidate. By the time the provincial certificate of canvas was filled up, that candidate was gifted an extra 10,000 votes. All the provincial board of canvassers had to do was add a 1 to the 2,599. The same candidate got 13,784 votes in Dagupan City. At least, that's what the city certificate of canvas said. But the provincial COC for Pangasinan showed the candidate got very lucky. The 13,784 votes turned into 28,784 votes. The 1 became a 2 and the 3 became an 8. But these were just two instances out of 24 in Pangasinan in the 1995 election. To be sure, the human intervention of a dangerous kind had just gone up several notches higher. Uh, we found there were 100 and, almost 113,000 yeah. uh, votes added mm -hmm. for a single candidate, which also meant that there was a deduction of the 113,000 from a combination of other candidates to get back down to the number. You know? mm -hmm. So okay. th this is what happens when, when you have a, a system where you're just... Uh, uh, transposing, you know, from a one document to another document, mm -hmm. typewritten or manually. Yeah. You just add that extra number and no one's looking, it's easy to... So this is where the wholesale stuff happens, whereas at this stage in the, in the SOV or even the election return, that's got a little more retail mm -hmm. uh, adjustment, you could say. Three years before that, in the 1992 elections, NAMFREL, then known as the Media Citizens Quick Count, or MCQC, showed these to the media. A statement of votes and certificate of canvas for the town of Gitagum in Misamis Oriental. The SOV shows how many votes per precinct the candidate got and the total. The COC is a documentation of the total number of votes in that municipality or city or province. The Board of Canvassers totaled a certain presidential candidate's votes at 1,250 in the Statement of Votes by hand. But that same Board of Canvassers gave that presidential candidate a 5,000 vote bonus in the Certificate of Canvas. The candidate got not just 1,250 votes, but 6,250. The COC was filled out with a typewriter. Uh, if, if, if it all matched, it would have said one, not six, so it's, yeah. it's obviously... Uh, you can't attribute that to a, to a simple, yeah. simple error. Bill is right. One and six on a typewriter are too far apart. On a computer keyboard, they're far apart too. If you were to automate it and put it in a computer system, it's a garbage in, garbage out situation. A manual election sounds easy and looks easy, but it was very tedious and at various stages was fair game to election operators who offered their services to candidates for a fee. And we haven't even talked about the other delaying factors, violence, harassment, pre-proclamation controversies. And to go back to manual would, I think, to say it would be a step in the wrong direction is a major understatement. Goyola Razabal served in Comelec for two manual elections, 2004 and 2007, and the automated election of 2010. Manual is just like um, you're trying to do a report, and uh, you have on one end a, a desktop, and another on the other side you have a manual typewriter. How it protects the, the BI, the teachers, because before, You've, we've had so many reports of teachers being harassed, uh, physically harmed, or threatened. In the 2010 elections, the only intimidation or harassment they received was from the voters kasi, because of the long lines. Yeah.